Welcome to Warrior Work. I'm Coach Hill. This is Coach Ken. Today we're going to share with you some compare and contrast of Kenpo and Balintawak. Balintawak, a uh, Filipino stick fighting art, is really a complementary art to Kenpo. It has a lot of the same things in it, and it can really help you improve your Kenpo, I believe, or take it to another level. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, this angle, I hope he loves you pretty well. You think about just inward block and punch. He does the inward block and he does the punch. We built in safety devices initially. Okay? So again, inward punch, block, chop. Where's block? Backward. Block. And again, we develop our ability to counter. One of the great things about blue block is uh, one of the core areas of the art is called kuntada. Kuntada basically means countering. I block or I strike, he blocks, he blocks, I strike. Okay? Again, there you have an outward block. Inward block. Power block, okay? Very simple. You can see we're also working on footwork as well in that process, okay? If you remember in Kempo, we oftentimes see back or hammer fist and back fist combinations, very common. Okay? So, uh, it gets a little bit different here. That's that else. Here's our hammer fist, back fist. See, you're to pick those up from the inside. So, again, that's another 12 strike. Back fist or hammer fist, back fist. He learns to counter it. Clears my arm and strike. Uh, as you can see, we're going to really prearrange all this. This is coming off the cuff as we're doing these different movements. Uh, another common movement you'll see, okay, is after I've done my initial strike, you'll see this inward, outward, push down punch. In Kempo, you'll see a lot of inward, outward movements. In the Traco system, we call that cover theory. We cover theory after every movement, comes from the art of Bob Law. Uh, you see it in Two Headed Dragon. Inward, outward, you have that are thrust. Uh, you see that again, a lot of movements. Here it says down on a, like in LG small circle jiu jitsu, it's just down on a smaller cell, scale. Inward, outward, push down, punch. Okay. Again, we can start with our hammering to the side of the body. We can go with our hooking, where you have to duck, carry, and cross as well. Also, one of the nice things about tempo and balloon walk is that we do a lot of locks in Kempo. We have wrist throws, half locks, center locks, all those types of things. And all of those can be incorporated into the arc. Here we have the half lock. Here we have the full lock. Here I push it forward, or I can actually use a buddy technique if I wanted to, or just push it forward, clearing it, okay, and then come with my full strike down through. Uh, another one that's very common, okay, we can use a lot, is our wrist throw. Okay, here's our wrist throw. Use to disarm. You can disarm it this way. We can learn to disarm it this way. So get another way of using the disarm, using our wrist throw. Or we can even get rid of our stick and do it this way. Okay? Where we lose our, get rid of one stick and actually use the other stick. So we have wrist throws, half locks, center locks. You'll see a lot of those in Balint Walk as part of their disarming techniques and manipulations. A lot of nice thing about the free play, we're going to go through the 1 to 12 basic strike now. Two, three, four, five is a thrust to the belly, should be a knife. Six, thrust, seven, eight to the body, nine to the body, ten, eleven, twelve. Once we go to 12 basic strikes, we can pretty much go anywhere with that movement. Okay? Buddy, can start with the head first, so he's got to be able to pick that up. Again, countering. I'm going to pull him in here a little closer. He learns to clear the stick right away. Okay. Uh, other things we'll do is for buddy, we're going to do knife type thrusting, okay, blade type thrusting. Another grouping. So we're trying to get his body. We've got to move his body. We're going to try to stay on film here. Okay. Control. Again, anytime he's not making, take that stick, he's going to come in and do something else. So we're working on countering, where you have more and more speed, throwing more and more differences in there. And again, you can take any of your tempo techniques, really, and put them into this play. So we do that with our handrail. So we have right foot back, inward, outward, push down, punch. You take any technique at all, like uh, inward defense. Block, he counters it, and continues. I throw my hook, inward defense again, or outward defense, okay, depending upon the size of the body you're on. 
I could be trapping, so I could be trapping, okay, moving in, or a block that. There you go, ah, there you go, okay, trapping it again, counters, look at that. We've got a full lock, or he's got a half lock here, he moves in, he's got a center lock, am I allowed to keep that in that position? So again, I have to develop counter, it's not arm bar. Again, all these things become part of the play, so if you get a chance to find a qualified balloons lock instructor, look them up, it'd be a great addition to your hard tempo, add a lot of dimension to it. Thanks, see you next time.